and I'm going to give a quick overview of Tomahawk on Android. So let me start in here actually in settings. And here's where you connect to all of your music sources, whether it be stuff you have on your local device, um, add that to your collection, or connect to any of a large number of streaming music services. Some require a premium subscription account, some are free. Um, and you can come in if you wanted to add a new one, you would log in with your credentials for that particular service, um, and that will get you going. The other thing I have in here is a Hatchet, and the Hatchet account is something that allows you to sync all of your data and playlists from your desktop Tomahawk to your mobile, and I'll show you what that gets you here in a second. Um, so let me come back here, and first I'll show you my collection. Your collection has um, your uh, artist view, an album view, and a track view, and you can dive in, to, well you can sort uh, any number of ways by uh, alphabetical by album, alphabetical by artist, or by most recently added, but if I wanted to dive in here into an album, you'll see here is, um, uh, here's the album, if I wanted to um, go up to the artist, well here I can remove this from my collection or add the album to a playlist, um, but I can also jump up to the top level where I've got top albums, top tracks, and as you scroll down, it does turn from gray to black as it finds the source to stream them from, uh, and bio. And so obviously I can, I can play a track here. This one's going to play from Beats. Um, other tracks will play from other services or sources, whatever the best available I may have. Um, I can open this up, I can repeat, I can, sh whoops, I can shuffle, uh, I can also swipe forward and back to change tracks. So let me close that. The other thing that I can do is, again, all of my favorites in my playlist from the desktop are synced here. Um, and you'll see those are all here. The, most of these I favorited on the desktop. Uh, again, I can long tap on something if I wanted to get some more information about that uh, artist or track. So we got that. Um, same with playlists. Again, these are all my playlists on my desktop. Um, they work as you would expect. And then the last thing I'm going to show you right now is my Google Music Collection. I don't have a, a Google Play on demand subscription account, but I did upload a bunch of my MP3s to their locker, which was free. And I can view those from here and stream from here. So um, you'll see we only have the artist view right now. Uh, we'll be adding the album and track view for, for uh, this uh, collection in the future. But you'll see as I come down in here, again, I can dive in. It will, by default, show me the albums that I've got in that collection. But if I wanted to view uh, all of this artist's albums, I could just tap on their name and choose all and that will give me a view into all of their albums and tracks. Um, so hopefully that gets you started. I'll come back and show you more about the feed uh, and some of the more um, kind of hidden features uh, in the future, but uh, hopefully that is enough to get you going. We hope you like it and we hope to hear from you. Thanks.